Hello, welcome back to my channel Thomas Sheep Crochet and Knitting. In this tutorial I will show you how to crochet this rabbit backpack. You will need a pair of scissors, 4mm crochet hook, yarn needle, 9mm crochet hook, a stitch marker, little hollow fiber, and for rabbit tail I will use this type of yarn. You can use happy or mink from yarn art for example and velour from yarn art I will use for rabbit ears. All yarns will be listed in video description. And this is yarn uh, what I will use for body of backpack. It's called macaroni or meroni. It's Italian word. I will use this light blue for now and it's 90% cotton and 10% polyester and they recommend 15mm crochet hook but we will use 9mm crochet hook. So we can go to crochet. Okay, take 9mm crochet hook and make a slip knot, then chain 9. Don't tighten it much. So it's 8 chains plus extra one because we will we will make single crochets. So together we have 9 chains and now we will insert the hook not into the chain but into the loop uh, back, on back on back side and it's this loop. So we will make single crochets in this loop. Start with second chain. So one, two, and this is second loop. Here, make one single crochet. Make one single crochet in each this loop across. So make one single crochet in each uh, back loop across and don't tighten it. If you will tighten it much you can use 10 mm crochet hook. And think of that because it's very important in this pattern when you will tighten it much uh, it will be very hard work with this project. So think of that and don't tighten it at all. Okay, make last single crochet in very last uh, back loop. And now we have to make two more single crochets in the same space. But when you will make the same space, the same stitch, uh, there will be bigger hole. So I'm going to make second single crochet just in this, in this one loop. So try to follow me, insert the hook over here and make single crochet. This is second uh, single crochet, don't tighten it, think of that. And we have to make one more single crochet, we have to make three single crochets in the same space, but now I will use the same loop and loop over here. 
So insert the hook into into uh, two loops into these two loops and make last single crochet. So we have used three single crochets in the same space. And now make one single crochet in each stitch and use both loops. So use normal stitch and I will, I will hide the starting tail behind my work. Now it will be a little harder, but I promise it will be harder uh, to uh, insert the hook into the stitches just now on start. First two rows and then it will be easier. And now make last single crochet over here and there will be three single crochets as well because we will count uh, the extra the extra chain on start like single crochet. So we have three single crochets on the left side and three single crochets on the right side in one stitch or one space. Now we have to join the round with the slip stitch. In this first round I will make slip stitch like always I do. But in next rows it will be a little different. So we have done first round. chain one and now we have to increase all three stitches so count the the extra chain like one single crochet and make one single crochet into the same space so we have two single crochets in one space Use stitch marker if you want. It's better especially for beginners. And I'm going to show you uh, where we will insert the hook. It will not be in the stitches, but over here. And we will insert the hook uh, under, under stitch between single crochets from previous row. When you will turn it, you have to insert the hook like this, under this loop and between these two loops. So you can see well here. And now we have to increase next stitch so inside the hook check it uh, on back side if it's right and make single crochet make one more single crochet into the same uh, into the same stitch so we have increased two times on this side now make one single crochet into next six stitches.
if you will uh, use normal stitch not this this um, space between uh, or not not between this space for in the middle of single crochet from previous row and you will use really just stitch it will not be nice it will be not too tight and we want to have a proper backpack so try it be patient and when you will not tighten it you wouldn't have problems now we have to increase next three stitches and now i think it's the hardest uh, part for inserting of the hook but really be patient and then i promise it will be better so find the right uh, right space and make two single crochets into next three stitches so it should be here and check it on back side one single crochet and one more single crochet into the same space then make two single crochets in next two stitches if you will have problems with inserting uh, just uh, use smaller hook and finish the single crochet by right hook So we have increased three times on this side and now make one single crochet in next six stitches. Don't tighten it. And if you will have any question, just write me here below the video. I really hope you will understand. So we have five single crochets so make one more single crochet and now we have six single crochets and in this next stitch we have to make two single crochets so we will we will have done uh, uh, in three times increase on left side as well so one single crochet and one more single crochet into the same space and then we have to uh, we have to uh, join the round with a slip stitch you can do it uh, like always just like this Or you can do it like this inside the hook from this side take the loop pull it through and 
and now inside the hook over here get back uh, the loop on your hook and make a slip stitch I will use this method uh, all the time in this project so it's up to you if you will use normal normal way or you will follow me okay now we will increase uh, both sides always three times but now in this round we will um, increase every uh, second stitch so I'm going to show you it's a system uh, in this uh, round we will increase every second in next round we will uh, increase every third uh, stitch so uh, but always three times on both sides always so we will start increase here then one single crochet and then we will increase again so chain one i have done chain one make chain one use single crochets if you uh, use stitch marker if you want and now make in next stitch two single crochets and we will count the extra chain like one single crochet so now we have increased so in next stitch make just one single crochet In next stitch make two single crochets I have to join next uh, join a new yarn so I'm going to finish the single crochet by new yarn so in next stitch make two single crochets So we have increased uh, two times on this side, then make one single crochet to the, to the increase from previous row, it should, uh, it should be uh, six or seven single crochets. one two three four five okay i have six so six single crochets and now we have to increase again so increase over here make two single crochets into the same space in the next stitch make one single crochet It's always here under it's not too visible on this side but I'm sure you will you will get it in next rows in the next stitch make two single crochets
so we have increased already two times now in next stitch make just one single crochet and in next stitch make two single crochets so we have increased three times on this side then make just one single crochet to the other increase from previous row And on this side it will be always one more single crochet than on the other side. So make one single crochet in the next seven stitches. And we have done uh, in two, uh, two increasing on this side. So we have to increase one more on this side, one more time. So you have to make two single crochets over here in next stitch. And join the round with a slip stitch. So in this row we have uh, increased three times on both sides every second stitch. I really hope it's understanding for you. If it's not, just uh, let me know below the video and I will try to help you. Okay, we have done second row. Now chain one, use stitch marker if you want. And in this row, we will increase every third stitch. So if you will have any questions, uh, Write me here below the video. Now we are going to increase every third stitch on both sides three times. So three times on left side and three times on right side. So we will start increase in this stitch. Then we will make one single crochet in next two and then we will increase again so i'm going to show you how in this stitch make two single crochets and the extra chain we have to count like single crochet don't forget it Now make one single crochet in next two stitches. And in the next stitch increase again. So make two single crochets in the same space.
then make just one single crochet uh, to the to the increasing from previous row so I will have one two three four five six and seven single crochets then make two single crochets in next stitch In next two stitches make just one single crochet I don't know why but uh, the yarn is sometimes thicker sometimes thinner in next stitch make two single crochets In next two stitches make just one single crochet and then in the next stitch make two single crochets so it's last increasing. We have increased three times on this side. Then you will make just one single crochet in each uh, stitch to the increase to the increase from previous row so you should have more single crochets on this side than on the other side between increasing Now you can count and you should have uh, two single crochets between increasing. So I will make uh, one more single crochet. And now in next stitch I will increase. So it will be last increase on this side. Make two single crochets in the same space. So we have increased uh, three times on left side and three times on right side every, every third stitch. So join the round with a slip stitch. And uh, I made one single crochet in next stitch after increase and the, the extra chain we count like a single crochet so we have two single crochets between incre increasing now make slip stitch if you want just follow me and make it like like me it will not be visible by this way too visible <laughs> Chain one, use stitch marker if you want 
and this round will be last round of increase And in this round we will increase every fourth stitch and three times on left side and three times on right side. You can see it's hard. It's good. So I will start increase in next stitch. So I will increase um, next stitch, make two single crochets over here, and then make one single crochet in next three stitches in the next stitch increase again so make two single crochets into the same space Then make one single crochet in each stitch to the, to the increasing from previous row. So you will make about eight, eight uh, single crochets. So I have one, two, three, This is four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to increase, so in next stitch make two single crochets. In next three stitches make one single crochet. And in next stitch increase again, so make two single crochets into the same stitch. Then one single crochet in next three stitches. Now increase in the next stitch, so make two single crochets in the same stitch. And then make one single crochet in each stitch to the increasing from previous row. It should be about nine single crochets.
and now we have to increase again so it will be third increasing on this left side so make two single crochets in next stitch and then make one single crochet in next two stitches and because we count uh, the extra chain on start of this row like a uh, single crochet so we have three single crochets between increasing now join the round with a slip stitch So this is uh, last row of increasing. If you want to have bigger backpack, uh, just make a one more row and increase on both sides three times, just every fifth uh, stitch. So this is size for kids or it will be smaller backpack. Adult can use it, uh, but it's smaller than normal size of backpack. okay and now uh, we are going to make just slip stitches one round of slip stitches so chain one and make slip stitch in next stitch you will make one slip stitch in each stitch all the way around start with this stitch So inside the hook in the next stitch and make slip stitch. Make one slip stitch in, uh, in each stitch all the way around like this. So continue working, um, sing, um, continue working slip stitch and you can pause the video and meet me back at the end of this row so i am at the end of the row and now uh, make just slip stitch <laughs> one more slip stitch but i will do it like this because i want to have the loop on the other side because we will make the body of backpack and it will go uh, up so we will not increase so it uh, it will change the way now we are going to make single crochets and uh, we have to insert the hook into the same space like in uh, like in previous rows so we will use the single crochet from previous row in this row it will be a little harder because it's very hard to find it and it's very hard to um, inside the hook into the space but be patient and then it will be very easy after this row it will be very easy 
so chain one use stitch marker if you want and let's make uh, let's make single crochets into each uh, into each stitch all the way around and we will use the space over here so it will be uh, it will be the same like in previous rows just it will be a little harder work Be patient and I promise then it will be very easy. If it's uh, hard to find it for you just use stitches but it will not be perfect but it's it's possible to use uh, stitches so continue working and meet me back over here and now just uh, make a slip stitch at the end of the row I'm going to uh, do that like this from the other side and from now I will work in a round because it's more comfortable for me uh, and this big project it will not be visible and we will do uh, we will do something uh, at the end uh, of the body of backpack so it will be okay so continue working the same pattern like before so make one single crochet in each stitch I mean single crochet from previous row and make one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and meet me back at the end of the round so I am at the end of the round and I want to show you just how to how to go um, over here how to go over here okay and make one single crochet in next stitch over here and then we will start uh, next row but we will uh, work in a round so you will make just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make 15 rows together so it will be very easy from now so make 15 rows together and this is the end of the first part of this tutorial okay this is the end of the first part of tutorial and i really really hope you like the video if you like the video put the thumb up and don't forget to subscribe my channel the second part of this tutorial will be very soon so have a great day and see you soon. Bye bye.